Greetings grapplers, welcome to Judo for Jiu Jitsu. My name is Larry Keith and this is Brian Powers. And in this video, we're gonna demonstrate some back takes from north-south position. South position is one of the positions I feel is underutilized in Jiu Jitsu. I think it's a great position to control your opponent. Um, it's a great position with submission opportunities and it keeps you away from the opponent's legs for them, uh, hard for them to recover guard uh, from that position. So I think it's, I think more study, more work should be put into developing your north south game. So what we're going to do today is show a couple of different um, attacks to uh, get to the back control. So the first one here. Well, first of all, before we get to that, there's three basic north-south positions. So you have double overhooks, which is if my arms, let's turn this way a little bit, if my arms are under Brian's shoulders and I'm holding him, double unders if both of my arms are inside of his armpits, and then you have an over-under option, what we call broken or modified north-south position. So, and I'm also coming in at a bit of an angle here. So this is one of my favorite positions. So, but today we're going from the, the double um, overhook. So I'm underneath Brian's shoulders and I'm pinning him down and I'm looking to strip this gi off of him here and get close into, wind it up, up deep into his armpits. Now from here, I'm gonna come up to my knees and I'm gonna lift him up and pull him to me. When I pull him to me, I'm gonna windshield wipe my legs, sit back, take the back, feed the lapel, and go into a kata hajim. Okay, from, from this angle here, I come in, I've got my north-south on Brian, chest to chest pressure. Now, I can be up on my knees, or I can be laying flat down with my hips down, but I wanna maintain that chest to chest pressure until it's time for me to execute the back take. I wind that gi into his armpit and kind of cross underneath him a little bit on both sides, and then I bring my knees in, I posture up, and I pull him to me. So kind of a hooking action with my arms, with my, with my, my grips here. And now I windshield wiper, get my hook, roll to the other side, get my second hook, feed the lapel to my other hand, and get my kata hajimi, my single wing strangle, right here and finish the deal. Okay, and so our next technique is north-south, but from the bottom position where we're gonna take the opponent's back. All right, so this time I'm in the bottom position from north-south, and Brian has his arms in the, the underhook position, right? So he's, he's inside my armpits right here. Now what happens, if he keeps chest-to-chest -chest pressure on me, this is great, but occasionally people will decide to kind of get really high-centered, to get that butt up in, the, up in the air like this. Now he's driving his shoulder into my abdomen, which makes great pressure, but it's transferring all of his weight this direction. And what I'm gonna do is right at his hips right here, I'm gonna get his hips and I'm gonna lock my arms out. So it's not really a bench press, it's just locking that last little lock right there. And as I do that, his weight transfers. As his weight transfers that direction on that shoulder, all I have to do is sit up. And as I sit up, we end up in this back take position where it's easy for me to finish with another side of Jamie. All right, so once again, we're in this position here. I'm on the bottom. Brian has the underhook version. His, his, he's kind of high centered, right? So he's almost like tripoding up. He's got his hips way up high in the air. That gives me a lot of space to where all I have to do is extend my arms. I get on his hips, I extend, and when I extend, his weight starts to transfer towards my feet. As that happens, it's pretty easy for me to sit up and take his back, right? So I can finish off with whatever kind of strangle or back attack we want to do from there. So once again, Brian's attacking from the north-south. Right, he gets his hips high, I post up. As I post up, his weight transfers, see his legs get light. And as his legs get light, I'm gonna sit up with him and just follow him up into this back control position. Get my hooks, finish my strangle, boom. So a caution with this, be aware of where your practice partner's head is at. Um, make sure it's off to the side so that you don't hurt his neck. When you, when, you, uh, when you sit up with him, you wanna make sure the head is cleared off to the side uh, to protect your partner. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you find some value in it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification tab so you don't miss any future videos. And remember, when you learn a technique, you know one technique. When you learn a concept, you know a thousand techniques. So until next time, we'll see you on the flip side.